everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Are you tired of experiencing hatred and civility around those that you associate with or in your community or even in this nation? Well, this is a message that will advocate an increase of God's love in your heart that will bring forth a transformation. We all need transformation in our heart that we can demonstrate a genuineness of love for one another regardless of what our race. So I do have a love for all people. I do have Caucasian friends and I do proclaim my love for you. Our God that we serve is a God of diversity and creativity. Just look all around you and you will see people of all colors and nationalities. So we want to embrace all people. So all the things that's going on in our nation, the unrest, the riots, never would we have thought that this kind of unrest would arise in a million years. We thought we dealt with all the racism, or maybe we thought we did, or maybe we just buried those things in the heart. And you know, um, our nation, we're facing many complex problems. Not only are we dealing with uh, the, the race issues that are going on today, but we're also dealing with COVID-19. So this is a time and this is a season, I think that God's hand is somewhere in this. God is calling us as a people to turn our heart back to Him and true repentance and brokenness, not just for believers, but our nation as a whole. We need to really turn to God in repentance and brokenness. Now, I was reading an article in the Time magazine and it said, what has resulted is an illusion that blinds us to what was actually happening right in front of our noses and in our heads. We believed that our country had become less racist because we were not as brazen as we once were. So that is a, a thought for us to think about. That we, we thought that our country had become less racist because we were not as brazen as we once were. What I notice as a minority, the racism is often, you know, in a subtle manner, underhanded, not just with people that you associate with, but in companies that does hiring, the racism is in a manner, in such a way, that is not uh, out front for most organizations. Now the riots and the destruction that is taking place in the streets of America is a manifestation of the injustice that has been taking place over the years. And so quite naturally, when you, when a people promote injustice and inequality and race, definitely that, that is a seed that's been uh, sown for civil disobedience. And so that's exactly what we are seeing manifesting in our streets today. But is it right? Absolutely not. It is not right. It is not right for property to be destroyed. So we, as a people of God, we need to come together, not only just pray, but God has God wants us to turn toward Him and to seek His wisdom, seek His guidance, that our hearts are filled with his love that we are obedient to him so that we can experience the healing and the blessing in our nation so should minorities and those that support us in our dilemma sit back and allow the continual killings of our very own people because of hatred in people's heart they don't like your skin color absolutely not this is a day, this is a season that we must stand up. And that's exactly what Jesus did in his day and time that he walked this earth. 
So white supremacy, bigotry, and racism is definitely embedded in certain parts of our government. I'm not saying that every part of the government is unjust. There is justice in our nation, and there is also injustice. But God doesn't like injustice at all. So there is something that we as a people of God, and those of you that don't know the Lord, there is something that God wants us to begin to do. And first of all, that is the surrendering of our hearts to Him. Uh, you know, learning to be obedient to the Lord. That's our first commandment, loving God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, everything.